Wow, that looks great. Electro jeweler Jordan here, and today we're going to test out our nickel plating solution. First thing we need to do is heat up the solutions to the appropriate temperature. Now that the solutions are at their appropriate temperature, we are going to first electro clean, then rinse, then dip it in nickel activator, and then nickel plate for 10 minutes. 10 minutes will give you about a one micron thickness plating. Today we will be plating this one inch square copper piece. Two inch square total surface area. You'll notice that I set the power supply to one amp and eight volts. The eight volts doesn't have to be exact eight. It could be seven, eight, nine, ten, something in that range. But you want one amp for a small piece of jewelry. The electric clean is heated up to the proper temperature. And I am going to put the positive or the red alligator clip onto the titanium anode. And the negative lead, the black one, will go onto the cathode or the piece that we're plating today. And I'm going to clean that in the electric clean for about one minute and you'll see it bubbling up. And these balls up here on top are fume balls. And what it does is it prevents the bubbles from spraying the solution all over the place. I'm gonna take the piece out and I'm gonna check it. I wanna make sure the solution sheets off the piece. There's no um, beating of water or the solution. And then I'm going to rinse it three times. One, rinse two, and rinse three. Now the next step I'm gonna do is not 100% necessary, but I do find it gives a much better plating experience. I'm gonna put it in the nickel activator. And that's heated up to right now 40, usually between 30 and 50 is fine. And I'm gonna do that for 30 seconds. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna rinse it in rinse number two and three. I don't wanna rinse it in the first one because um, there's probably some ElectroClean in there, and I don't want to get that into this solution. Actually, ElectroClean several pieces at a time before you uh, nickel plate. I mean, leave them in the rinse, maybe for like uh, half an hour or 45 minutes. I probably wouldn't ElectroClean more than I could do in an hour. Please like, subscribe, and watch to the end so you don't miss any important information. This particular nickel plating solution has a wide range of current densities. So you'll just have to experiment and figure out which one's the best for you. Put 0.6. And the volts will keep there because we want a, a constant current. It's going to be around 0.6. Okay, so we have our piece to be plated. So I'm going to connect the positive to the anode cage, which has the nickel anode inside it, and the negative to the bus bar, which will hold the cathode. Right now, our temperature is at 45 degrees, which is fine. Generally, we want between 40 and 60 degrees. Recently, I changed to this uh, cup warmer because it keeps it between uh, 40 and 50 usually, and it will never boil. So you don't have to keep an eye on it as much. I'm going to put a piece to be plated in. And we're just gonna sit this in there for 10 minutes. That should give you one micron of nickel plating thickness. It's only been about a minute, but you can see it's fully nickel plated already. We're just going to keep that in there for the full 10 minutes. All right, time to take the piece out, see how it looks. Wow, that looks great. Super shiny. Wow, it looks really good. Really bright and shiny.